what I want to show you here is this, uh, this notion around using the same markup, the same HTML, the same CSS to make web pages just work. And so what I have on my screen is the Internet Explorer platform preview uh, and two other browsers. So the Internet Explorer platform preview is on the left here. Yes, so right here is Internet Explorer and these are two other browsers. And what I want to illustrate is how um, the, the goal, the dream of web developers to just write their web pages once, what are some of the obstacles and barriers to that today? So I'm going to come over here and what you can see is all this markup that says, hey, there should be a border on the bottom and here's what it should look like. And it's the same markup across these three browsers and what happens when you issue the same instructions to different browsers. So the first thing I'm going to do is animate the border width to make it a little bit easier to see on people's screens. So I'll click animate and then animate and then animate. And the good news is that kind of looks consistent. They've all gotten thicker. Well, let me come over here and cycle the border style. Well, I'll click it once and twice. All right, so now that says dotted, and these look like really big dots, so that, that's promising. I'm going to come over here and click cycle border style twice, dash, and then dotted. Dotted, these are dotted. These things at the edge are, aren't really quite that dotted. And now we're going to come over here and cycle the border style twice again, and you'll see that it says dotted, and, well, that, that's a different kind of dot. I, I'd call it a square. Yeah, I, I guess it's a square dot. Yeah. And now um, I'll animate the border radius, and you'll watch all these uh, curve in on, on a radius. And this is, you can imagine um, that you'd want a nice curve if you're designing you know, a site for your small business, and this is the, the appearance that you want to have. Well, let's try that over here uh, in this other browser. And... Well, that's, that's definitely animated, and it's got a radius, but that curve is a lot different from everything else. And now let me animate this one, and that's a third one altogether. Hmm. Now, the, the point here is that um, when, you, when you talk about the web just working, there's a lot of work that developers have to do today to make their websites turn out the same across different browsers. And part of our commitment is working through the consensus process with all the right standards bodies, but also submitting tests so that all browser vendors and all the developers can go through and say, have we gotten the details right? Because if we don't get these details right across the browsers, then developers have to work a lot harder and people just don't have as good an experience on the web. Now, of course, Dean, you know there's going to be lots of skeptics out there. I mean, yeah. this is not something for which the Internet Explorer team or Internet Explorer itself is known. Historically, uh, compliance to standards, is, what, what would you say to that? Well, I think that um, historical is, is, is a good word to insert in here. Um, in 2001, uh, Microsoft released a browser which, for that time, back in 2001, uh, was doing a great job with the standards that existed in 2001. And since 2001, a lot's happened. Uh, I, I think it would be unfortunate to judge uh, Internet Explorer overall based on the nine-year-old version uh, of the browser. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are doing what you can at this point uh, in terms of HTML5, CSS3? Well, the, the biggest thing is really around what the, the potential that HTML5 offers everyone. And, and the, the way I think about it is... Um, we're on our third version of Internet Explorer since Internet Explorer 6, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little puzzled. I'm not sure what else we could do to help people upgrade. The folks who are running Internet Explorer 6 are, are choosing to, and you know I'd love them to run IE7 or IE8, and when we're done with it, IE9. Okay, good. Thanks for your time, Dean. Thanks.